Hi friends, hope you are all doing fine. Today I am going to discuss about how to get a postdoc position in Singapore. And many of you may be familiar with Singapore being a very cosmopolitan and developed city and it's also a country. It's located very near Malaysia, Indonesia, that region. And so if you are in any part of Asia, it's very close to you. So generally you are within a close flight or a short flight to Singapore, depending on where you are. So one of the things about Singapore is that despite its relative small size, it has a pretty good number of top world-class universities. So I will tell you some of the universities with which I'm familiar with. The one which is very old and relatively classical is the National University of Singapore. Probably you can think of it as a flagship in Singapore. Then you have the Nanyang Technological University. So interesting thing I came to know that Nanyang is actually the Chinese word for Singapore. So that's how this name came up. There's the Singapore University of Technology. Beside that, there is a body known as a star. So that is essentially the agency for science, technology and research. There are also some alliances for research, particularly the Singapore MIT Research and Technology Center. There's the Tamasek Life Sciences Lab. There is the Singapore Institute of Technology, Singapore University of Technology and Design, and also Singapore Management University. So as you can see, there are a pretty large number of universities out there in this relatively small city state. And some of the universities like the NUS, the NTU are ranked within the top set of university. Now, I have a pretty good feel about Singapore because I spent some time there on a sabbatical at the Nanyang Technological University. And I'll share some of the things about Singapore with you and how to consider it for either doing a PhD or a postdoc or in fact launching your research career there. So one of the best things to do is to go to Google and search for postdoc in Singapore and you are going to find a large number of positions which are out there which are currently vacant and people are essentially looking for postdocs based on different research problems and so on. Now if you do not find a good selection here you can also write directly to the professors this is the classical way and you can find these professor names by doing a literature survey in your research field you can essentially go to google scholar do a literature survey and look at the papers being published in your research area from singapore and then you can contact some of these professors directly so very often if these people have a large grant or some grant is going to come up, they are going to respond positively to you. And then you can actually get a direct postdoc with these people also. Now, beside that, some universities like NTU have a presidential postdoctoral fellow. So you can even apply to that if your credentials are very good. Now, one of the things about Singapore is that it's a very quality conscious country and they often measure quality using metrics. So. They are pretty much obsessed with scientometrics. So what is going to be very important in Singapore is your number of publications in the SCI index journal. So typically if you have publications which are present in the web of science database or Scopus database, they will be counted very positively. Typically those in the web of science database are the best journals out there. Now, most people are going to look at the impact factor of journals. They are going to look at your H index, look at citations and so on. So again, one of the things in Singapore is that because of this fact that they like scientometrics, the top research tends to be conducted in some of the fields such as material science or biosciences or computing sciences where the possibility of citations is very high. And very often what happens is that the problems which are very current, essentially those problems tend to have high citations. So if you are working on quantum computing or nano technology or digital media or biotechnology or any of these newer disciplines, 
then it's very likely that you are going to get some postdoctoral position in Singapore. Now, one of the things about Singapore is that it's a very multicultural city, despite the fact that large number of the people are essentially of Chinese descent, and there is also a Indian minority, typically Tamil people, but also many people who have recently moved from India to Singapore to do work there. There is a lot of cuisine out there, there is a lot of food, so in case you are interested in different type of food, you have a plethora of choices in Singapore. It's got a very good um, public transportation system, so when I was there at uh, Nanyang Technological University, I could always take a bus or a metro and I could visit any part of Singapore, so it's very nice. You can get a metro pass and you can travel around Singapore, visit all the places, see the sea. You can go to the different shopping mall, visit bookstores and so on. So again, contrary to what you would expect, actually Singapore is a very green city. So there are a lot of parks out there, there are a lot of nice places you can visit during the weekend and so on. Now, of course, Singapore has a pretty driven culture as far as work is concerned. You can expect to work a lot, but then the remaining time when you're not working, you have a lot of diversions out there in Singapore. So most of the people in Singapore, they essentially shop, eat and work. So this is one of the things I often saw in the various t-shirts worn by the students and some, some other people. So now, the thing about Singapore research is that uh, it's very driven by current technology, so it's also very well connected to the top centers of research, not only in the Western countries, Europe, United States, Canada, and so on, but also with China and to some extent in India, and also to Hong Kong. There is a lot of relationship between Hong Kong and Singapore. So you can expect to even visit some of these countries, form partnerships with research institutions there and essentially work on some kind of joint project. And Singapore is also very well connected by air to all the places around the world, so it's relatively easy to fly and so on. Now, some of the things I found in Singapore is that uh, if you have a paper in a conference, you can approach the chairman and you can get funding to go to those conferences. So again, there's nothing like a national conference or that kind of mindset in Singapore because it is a small city and therefore they provide funding to you to visit the top international conferences around the world. So if you want to go to an IEEE conference, a SIAM conference somewhere, you are very likely to get funding from the department chairman and your postdoc guide for these particular travels. So it's a very good place to do research. As far as funding is concerned, it's relatively easier to obtain funding in Singapore because again, it's a city state and there are a limited number of people who are applying for various grants. So for example, if you were to write a proposal on uh, micro air vehicles or on cancer research or on uh, quantum computing, then it's very likely that uh, very few people are going to compete with you on that particular proposal and so the likelihood of your proposal getting through is pretty high and that's one big advantage for researchers who are there in Singapore and uh, you can take advantage of that fact if you decide to do a postdoc or pursue a research career in that country. Now besides that one of the things I would recommend you to do in Singapore is that uh, you can use your presence in Singapore to visit some of the nearby countries which are very nice to see but they are not often visited by people. That includes, for example, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Bali, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia and so on. So this is a part of the world which is very beautiful. It has a, a complex culture which has been impacted by both India and China and is fused with the local culture and you can have a good experience by doing these travels. So this was my take on Singapore as a postdoc destination and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in a new video sometime soon. See you then.